Hey guys, hope you're doing well. I want to do a really quick update of the Albino Candino clutch. I have this hatchling here, which is a non-pastel. And just looking at it by itself, it probably looks just like an albino. Luckily, I do have another non-pastel clutch mate. And this is a female one that I'm bringing in. If you look at the colors, I think the camera picks it up. The one on the left is white. The one on the right is more of a lavender color. So they've gone through, you know, the, the obviously the first shed after out of the egg, and then they've gone through one more. So technically they've both gone through two sheds, and just after two, two sheds, there's already evidence of the one on the left here being the Candino. So, you know, my speculation was right. I'm kind of glad um, I did speculate all along that this guy over here is a Candino. And I said in my earlier video, he's going to replace his father. So this is definitely going to be a holdback. Really glad I got at least one. As for the other ones, they're all pastel and I really can't tell the, what is albino or what is candino. I think, I think because they're pastel, it's hard to tell. I will show you this girl. I mean, her colors are really vibrant. I really like this one. Um, unfortunately, I can't tell if it's candino or albino, so I'm going to hold on to her a little bit longer. And then here we have this other guy. He's going to shed. That's why he looks horrible, but he's the last one to go to shed. He's actually he's actually the biggest one out of the clutch. Came in at 73 grams out of the egg. And he's the last one to shed. I mean, this guy is just super cool. Super relaxed, super tame, always curious. Very rarely is he balled up and scared. I'm just looking forward to watching his color change. So, he's going back in his tub, but just wanted to share the difference after two sheds. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.